Hey dolls! Um, so I have a new computer now. I got a new laptop and it has the ability to record gaming. So that's what we're doing today. Also, my camera doesn't want to focus on my face. So uh, if that's a problem, I'm sorry. This is my first little go around. So I gotta figure out how I'm going to make this so that my camera focuses on me. I should probably like put this on a backdrop or record this in a different location because it's just not focusing on me unless I do something like this, <laughs> which is silly. But um, today we are doing a playthrough of the Disneyland Adventures game. And again, sorry, I'm like a little blurry, but that's okay because I'm just going to be up here in this little corner anyway. Um, but this game is called Disneyland Adventures and I downloaded it on my Windows laptop. And I have my little Xbox One controller hooked up to my laptop. And so we are going to go ahead and stream. I forgot that I got to put my, not stream, but do a little playthrough. I forgot that I have to put my headphones in because I don't know if the sound is going to be a problem or not. Hopefully you guys can hear what's going on. This is basically just a test run to see if whatever I'm doing works. <laughs> um, I'm not going to be like streaming on Twitch or anything like that. I'm just going to be like I don't know. I just don't want the audio from the, the speakers to affect the sound. But anyway, this is Disneyland Adventures. This is available for, I believe, the Xbox 360 with Connect, the Xbox One, and it was on the Microsoft Store for my laptop. So I downloaded it for $20. And basically, you can see my girl right here. She's got a little Aurora outfit on. But basically the purpose of this video right now, this little playthrough, is going to be to just um, kind of run around the park virtually. I'm not going to play any of the mini games or anything in this video. I just want to show you guys how cool this game is. So if you're looking into getting it for yourself, definitely check it out. So it starts you right at the front gates as you can see it is freaking amazing this game is beautifully done it looks exactly like the park and the 99.9% .9 of the reason that I purchased this game was that so I could walk around the park virtually without physically going to Disneyland because you guys know it costs quite a bit to travel and to go there so I got this game so that I could basically just run around the park whenever I wanted <laughs> and I didn't have to spend thousands of dollars just to go um, you can even see that the movie posters and everything on the sides right here are accurate. And oh my gosh, this is just amazing. So I think this game came out in, I want to say 2017, but I just now found out about it, which is crazy. So they even have um, the city hall over here. They have the fire station over here. They also have uh, park guides or cast members just hanging out around the parks. And this is so cool. I don't mean to like run through all this, but um, you can see this is just like the main entrance. There's great moments with Mr. Lincoln in the background. There's little popcorn stands set up where they are in the parks, or at least where they used to be. And this is one of my favorite parts is you can go and meet the characters and you don't have to stand in any line at all. And it is just the cutest thing ever. So like. They will talk to you, you can get their autographs, you can dance with them. So you can give them little high fives and stuff. Now I will hug her. Oh, it is just the cutest thing ever. If I have my autograph book, let's see if I do. Oh, I do. Okay, so I'm gonna get her autograph now. And this is just the most precious thing ever. I am obsessed with this game. Oh my gosh, she's making me bend over to write her autograph. That's so funny. Oh my gosh, I love that. Sometimes they actually do that. At least they used to. Five out of six autographs collected from the Sensational Six. Yay! Okay, so that is awesome. So I've gotten uh, Mickey, Minnie, uh, Daisy, Donald, and Goofy. So does that mean I just need Pluto's now? Let's go see if Pluto's over here. Usually he's over here by Mr. Lincoln building, but I don't see him anywhere. So maybe we'll come across him later, but even the trolley is right there. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cool. I love this. Sorry, my camera is out of frame or out of whack. Even 
the statues are in the same places. Now these right here, you can stand on these and take pictures of hidden Mickeys, I believe. So like you can even look for hidden Mickeys in the game, which is insane. So I'm gonna go ahead and walk down Main Street for a second. I wanted to show you guys, oh, there's Goofy right over there. Next to Carnation Cafe. Oh, it says Bakery, Blue Ribbon Bakery. That must have been different. Did they recently change it? Because it's, it's Carnation Cafe now. A lot of people were asking me where I got my Esmeralda things from my uh, haul. And this is Esmeralda right here. She's right in the front of the Penny Arcade on Main Street. I don't know if you can actually do anything with her. I don't think you can. At least I haven't unlocked it yet if you can. Then the refreshment corner. Look at this, guys. The pink door. <laughs> you guys remember that from my vlogs. And look, lo and behold, the castle. Oh my gosh, wait, I gotta go back and see if the test wall's there. I didn't see if the, te the test wall, I didn't see if it was here yet. So I'm gonna go back in here and see if it'll let me back here. And if it's back here. Oh, it is, oh my gosh, and there's coins back here you can collect. Look at this, look, the wall's even here. It doesn't look very, I mean, they went a little jagged with the bricks on the right side, but that's cool. Even that aspect is in the game, and that is freaking amazing. So don't mind me, I'm just gonna be smashing through all these people, just because that's how you do it at Disneyland. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, oh, there's the porch. Okay, that's so cool. Uh, fun little fact, this building right here with the porch, when Disneyland first opened up, that shop sold none other than women's undergarments. But obviously they no longer sell that anymore. But I wanted to show you another little cute feature of the game. They have these little photo pass things popping up everywhere. And if you open your little camera here, you unlock the camera at some point, but um, if you do your left trigger, you can take photos. And this is so cute. It just kind of like takes an automatic photo. It does it on its own, but it is still really cute nonetheless. And then it saves this little photo to your little photo album in the game, which is really, really cute. So I think that's adorable. But anyway, I'm just gonna um, walk you guys through this just a little bit more. And a lot of these plants and stuff, they have like these blue rings around them. I'm not quite sure what those are. I'm not even using my headphones. I don't even know why. Um, <laughs> cute accessory, I guess. I, I don't even know. Uh, but even this, the little character statues around the hub are amazing. And I think I just found a hidden Mickey on this trash can. Nope. But the little trash cans are even like the same in all of the lands and everything. They even have, there's the castle and Mr. Mouse himself. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And if you look down, you can see the little plaque that they have in the ground right there. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. And even, it, it's just so like exact. This is amazing. They even have Snow White's Grotto back here where you can meet Snow White and talk with her. But then they have the grotto back there and it has the seven dwarves. And you can even walk through the side of the castle to get to Fantasyland. And they even have the Bippity Boppity Boutique over here. You can see, look at it, it even has the same sign. What the heck? You can't go in the castle. But uh, they even have the little statue over here as well. And then there's Aurora. Look, we're twinning. How cute, look at us. Uh, let's see, okay, so there's Captain Hook. See, the trash cans are even like coordinating to the lands, which is so, so cool. And they have the little carts set up in the same places. Um, so I'm kind of like running around here. But it's pretty much set up, like you even have Mr. Toad's car right there. Pinocchio's over here. Here's Dumbo. It is just so cool. And you can even take a photo in the teacup. Let's see if I can take a photo in the teacup, hold on. All right, we gotta grab our little camera here. And then we press and hold our left trigger. Oh, it doesn't take us in the teacup? What the heck? You're supposed to take photo in the teacup, but you can even see the Mad Hatter in the background. <laughs> That's cute. Hey, look at there's like nobody in my photo. That's awesome. I mean, other than me, but two out of 21 photo pass photos taken. So yeah, you can do that. Here's another photo pass station set up right here. And then there's Alice over here. You can talk to the, all the characters, but I'm just running you guys through. There's Beast, oh my gosh, you can talk to Beast. I love him, okay. Uh, let's go back here, I'm gonna show you guys. 
definitely a staple Disneyland ride is Small World. And there's a white rabbit to my left right there. Very cute. There's these photo pass spots everywhere, but look at Small World. And I don't know if you guys can hear the audio in the game right now, but it's amazing. Now, you can't ride the actual rides themselves. The rides consist of different little mini games that you can do to make a, get achievements and things like that. But um, it's really, really cute. Look, they even have the Small World wall with the hidden Mickey up top. You just run around and collect all these coins and you can use them to buy outfits and things like that. Um, so many of these photo pass spots. Here's Ariel. They even have the, um, excuse me, they even have the fantasy fair up there. And then you can catch the train up there. I don't know if you can actually physically ride the train or not. I mean, that would be cool. But do you see this little uh, golden stardust that I'm following? That basically just gives you a hint at your next clues or your next tasks that you have to do. So here, as you can see, I am in Toontown. Very, very cute. What does this say? Toontown what? Does it say firework ceremony? Citizen ceremony. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Don't they actually do that? The only thing that I'm a little butthurt about is, number one, this isn't the uh, Roger Rabbit fountain. And the Roger Rabbit ride does not say Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin. Like this building is just kind of like vacant and I don't really know like why. But, oh my gosh, was that Daisy again? Hey, there she is. Hey girl. How you again? You traveled faster than I did. What the heck? Anyway, it's really, really cute. I'm gonna go back out here. You guys pretty much get the gist of Toontown. It's almost identical. Um, and I missed the little ice cream cart that goes right here, but that's okay. <laughs> A few things are different, but for the most part, it's, it's pretty exact and it's freaking cool. Like, I love this. So I'm gonna haul booty and I am gonna go, um, I'm not gonna do like, I don't know, I was gonna do like a full walk through the park, but I don't know if this video is gonna work out. I'm hoping that it will because I'm like screen recording on my laptop and I'm filming. Uh, but I hope that this works and we can do this. I wanted to show you guys something else though. Like they even have right here, oh my gosh, you can even take a picture with him now. They even have the Cheshire Cat in the wall right there. That's like one of my little favorite photo op places. And then over here, they also have the white rabbit statue over by the bathrooms. And I think, I thought the bathrooms were like, oh, they don't have the bathrooms. Hey, look, a Mickey. I don't know if that means anything. I think it is. I think I can take a hidden Mickey photo. <gasps> Ooh, can I tea? Sweet, I just took a hidden Mickey photo. Look at me go. <laughs> That was cool. Okay. So, yeah, you can just take different hidden Mickey photos throughout the park, too, which is freaking awesome. So, over here, we'll just run into Tomorrowland real quick. They even have the little uh, seagulls over by the submarine ride that are saying, moi, 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 moi. Like, it's the cutest thing ever. I wonder if I can walk over there so you guys can hear it. Again, my audio, like, I'm not really listening to it. You can even see the monorail in the back, which is really, really cool. But uh, you can't really see see the seagulls I don't think I don't think they're actually out there but you can hear them which is really cool yeah you can't really see them out there but you can hear them so that's kind of cool anyway so I'm just running through Tomorrowland do, 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 do. see I don't know what these little circular things around these plants mean I'm gonna have to look that up but yeah it's, it's pretty freaking cool guys we'll go back here over by Space Mountain Heat support. Oh my gosh, they even have the ball that you can push. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Does it move? No? What the heck? Sorry, Mr. Dude, the ball's broken. It don't work. There is a Space Mountain over there. Okay, now I'm gonna go out this way. If only you could just smash through the crowds like this in real life. And if only there were that little of crowds in real life. This is, oh my gosh, is this literally... This is the Little Min Green, Little, little Green, Little Min Green store. This is the, yeah, this is the Little Green Min store. But you can't really go in here. This is just like the little Fast Pass pickup for Buzz Astro Blasters, I think. Oh, and there's Buzz right there. Oh, look. 
Astro Orbiter! <laughs> Uh, but anyway, this is really, really neat. I guess I'll go ahead and run you guys through um, the other lands real quick. Just because, I mean, it's fun. It's fun to, like, see everything. This is the one thing that I was the most excited about for the game, was just to run around everywhere. So I'm going to go in Adventureland, because I haven't been over there quite yet, and I haven't seen, like, the Tiki Room set up and everything. So I'm going to go over here. Oh my gosh, look at this! It's the Tiki Room! Can you literally go and meet the... Can you go meet Jose? Oh my gosh, I love how they have the birds just chilling outside. Okay, can I get my Dole Whip now, please? No? What the heck? I wanted a Dole Whip. Wait, the menu's there. Oh my gosh, it does. It says Whip Float. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm stuck. Okay, there we go. Sorry, sir. I need to, I need to look at the... <gasps> Look at the, sorry, my camera just cut me off. But look at this, it's literally the Dole Whip stand with no line. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so Aladdin's in here. Oh my gosh, you can actually walk through the little gift shop? What the heck? That's so cool. Okay, so this is not here anymore. They took this out, the Aladdin Oasis. They took this out and they put in Tropical Hideaway, which I am 100% okay with. Like, I love Tropical Hideaway so much. If you haven't been to the park since they've put it in, uh, you definitely want to check that out because you can get different flavored Dole Whips now. And that's another location that Dole Whips are sold at. So you don't have to stand in those atrocious lines. But uh, here's... Oh wow, this is now, <laughs> this was a gift shop a long time ago when I went, when I was four years old, I had to get this freaking fake rubber snake at this little import place. Um, but now this is all stroller parking. So this is a little different now, but then they have the gift shops on the other side. And then this is now Bangle Barbecue, I think, at least right around here is anyway. So there's Jungle Cruise over there. Oh my gosh, it's Baloo. Oh my gosh. I have to like take five seconds and hug him real quick. Because he is just the cutest ever. Oh my gosh. Now you're making me misty eyed. Oh. Well, now you're making me misty eyed. I love Baloo. He is so cute. Bye, Baloo. I'll see you later. <laughs> Anyway, um, then Indiana Jones is in there, obviously. Oh my gosh, they even have the truck out there. <gasps> Standby entrance. What do these signs say? Fast pass entrance. Please have your fast pass ticket available. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, they even have the, the times. Oh my gosh, do they literally have the... They have... Oh my gosh, they have everything. Even the, even the little height chart to make sure you're tall enough to ride the ride. <gasps> that is amazing. Okay, and then Tarzan's Treehouse. Now we're in New Orleans. You can see, this is just so beautiful. I did check this the other day though and they do not have Club 33 on here. Um, if they do, it's very well hidden and it's not labeled. I think they might have the old door on here, but I didn't see the new door. I'm not gonna go back in that corner, but they even have the mint julep bar back there and I'm just like, can I please just have a mint julep for a minute, please? That is so cool. Like, look, there's the Haunted Mansion. And see, the trash cans even change with the lands. Like, this is so amazing. There's Briar Bear. Oh, cute. And I love this. I freaking love this. At, Sp at Splash Mountain, you can see the people come down and do the final drop where they get soaked. And it is just so cute. And the water splashes up and everything. So I'm going to wait here just for a second so you guys can see. There they are. There's somebody coming down. Woo! And then it just... And look, there's people going up at the top. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I love this so much. One of my favorite lands in Disneyland is Critter Country. Like, I, I just, I love it so much. It's so cute. The Hungry Bear restaurant's even there. And again, here's Bear Fox. And look, Fast Pass returned between 10.15 and 11.15. This is like, then they have the Winnie the Pooh ride. And then you can go talk to Winnie the Pooh and Eeyore and Tigger, I think. I'm not sure where Tigger is, but they even have the Pooh Corner store up right here. Like, look at that! Oh my gosh, it's just so, so good. This game is delightful. <laughs> I am so impressed, and I love it so much. And just, just good job. I gotta, I gotta take a second and take a little, a little sippy. 
I have my Marie mug that I got at Disneyland and some orange juice, which is weird. It's like eight o'clock at night and I'm drinking orange juice, but that's all right. I figured I would drink something other than water because I didn't know how much I was gonna be talking and I didn't want my mouth to get super dry while doing this. So I figured that I would drink something that had a little bit more, it, it, it created a little bit more saliva. Because water, sometimes it just dries your mouth out, but stuff like um, tea and orange juice is really like, I, it, causes, it causes salivating. So yeah, TMI. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm just gonna, oh my gosh, they even have this stand with the parasols right here. Okay, that's, that's amazing. There's Tiana. Okay, we're just gonna go on over to Frontierland. And the wildest ride in the wilderness. <laughs> oh my gosh, the golden horseshoe. There's a hidden Mickey over here that I didn't know about until I was playing this game the other day. And it is so cool. It's like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's in, it's right here. See by my feet on the left, like right in front of, uh, right, 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 right there in front of me. See it, see it, I'm standing on it. Anyway, I never knew that one was there, so I'm gonna have to go look for it when I go next time. So now we're gonna walk over to Big Thunder. So here's the entrance to Big Thunder. Thunder, feel the thunder. I don't know. That song where the girl is singing, or it's, I don't know if it's a girl, but it's like, thunder, 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 where it's like, it does the high-pitched version. Cause there's the guy that goes thunder, feel the thunder, and then there's the like the robot auto tune voice that goes thunder, feel the thunder. It sounds like it says fun dip, and y'all know what fun dip is, right? That sugary goodness where you dip the stick in, and uh -huh. yeah, <laughs> just like a uh -huh. that. It sounds like it says fun dip, F -f fun dip. <laughs> so next time you hear that song, you won't be able to unhear it. I promise you, because I can't. I, I felt I heard it one day at work and I, I said that I was like oh no now I can't unhear it and now everybody at work it's like my friends at work and stuff they're like oh my gosh dude it's horrible that you think it says that because now I can't get it out of my head I'm like I told you okay so I pretty much ran around most of the whole park so you could kind of get an idea I'm gonna go ahead and end this little playthrough thing right now I didn't really play at all but you guys could even see like look at this they even have the sword right there and you can go take pictures by it and stuff. Oh my gosh, this game is perfection. I love it so much. Like I said, I basically just bought it so I could just run around and look at the park when I'm missing it. But it's really cool because it does have different little tasks and stuff that you can complete, compete, complete, complete, that you can complete, like running around and getting autographs and things like that. And it's just... It's an amazing game. Like, I am so happy with this game. So anyway, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I hope you all enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see a full playthrough where I do some of the tasks and literally just physically play the game, uh, let me know. Leave a comment down below or like this video. Give it a thumbs up. And I will know no to way. do that. But you as of right now, I just me. wanted to give you guys a little idea of what this game consists of and let you guys know about it because... It was funny, I saw online for April Fools that uh, Disneyland was going to be offering a service, like an online service where you could virtually visit Disneyland Park. And I had already known about this game and I had planned to get it, um, but I, I didn't, long story short, I just, I didn't, but I kept putting it off. But now that I got this new computer that's able to run it, and everything. I got so excited. I had to download it immediately as soon as I saw it in the Microsoft Store. And I'm just so, so, so happy. But it was funny because they were doing this April Fool's joke where you can virtually visit the park and everything and you don't have to spend money other than paying for the game itself, you know. But you don't have to spend money and you can just run around and see everything. And I'm just like, sign me up. And then I'm like, wait, that already exists though, doesn't it? So it's not really an April Fool's joke. It's just like, I don't know, it, it wasn't an April Fool's joke because it actually does exist, like this game, it exists already. So this is really, really cool. I'm obsessed with it. Let me know what you guys think down below. It is called, excuse me, sir. Please use your two finger point while you are at the parks. That was rude of you to walk into my frame. You're, 
to walk into my frame and just start pointing at stuff. No, sir. You use your two-finger Disneyland point. Okay, with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. I will talk to you in my next video, whatever that may be. Again, this is called Disneyland Adventures. And let me know if you have this game or if you're thinking about downloading it now. I love it. Like I said, just to run around the park is so cool. And it just... It, it helps me when I'm really missing the park to just turn this on and just run around is like it, it makes me excited so with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go I hope you all enjoyed this video and until my next one so long stay strong stay true and be all right